In this video, we're going to be covering a spreadsheet I developed sometime last year for tracking your EVE Online characters outside of game. Um, I found this very, very useful for me. So I figured today I would make a, a public facing version and uh, kind of show it off and um, make it available on my Patreon for you guys to download and start tracking your own characters and stuff. So if you want to follow along with me going through this spreadsheet, then in the description there is a link to the post where you can download this spreadsheet. This does use the EVE Online add-in, so you'll have to make sure you get that installed. And then any character or account that you want to track, you will have to auth through your add-on. So if you want to go ahead and do that, pause the video, come back, and then we'll start walking through this spreadsheet. I'll show you how to start putting in the data and uh, what, you, what it kind of shows and what it can do. All right, we're gonna go and head over to the spreadsheet now. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Um, I have room for like 32 characters in here, but uh, if you only have like 10 or three or whatever, you can just come in here and, and delete the other rows and everything. But we're gonna go and walk you through everything that this will track and I'll kind of show you how to add everything. Once you have your Excel up, if you don't have the Eve add-on or add-in, um, you can go over here to add-ins, search for the Eve Online one and get it installed. Once it's installed, you'll have to auth any accounts into it that you want to track. And then we'll just use this EVE Online add-in button right here to bring up the uh, pane for it. And down here, you can see a bunch of reference stuff for the functions and also um, the functions and drop downs for all the characters you have logged in. So let's go and add the first character in here. Under the name header, we're going to select this first cell that has the word none in it. I put none in here because if you don't, then some of these things can do some weird stuff. It'll like prioritize your first login and stuff. So I try to put like none in there just to clear them. But under that first cell under name, we're going to go to the character we're going to add first. So just find the character in your list over here to the right. And under the drop down, the first option is going to be character card. We want to add that. So that's going to go and populate in here and we'll kind of work from left to right um, about what this adds this up here these are two isk balances this corp isk balance as long as this uh first character right here is a director in a corp your corp or whatever it will pull the uh corp balance which is something i use but you can you remove this if you don't use it and then this is just a total sum of everything here so you can see a total balance of isk across all your characters um, I added an ISK balance because when I do project discovery or when I did like project discovery or if I wanted to like consolidate ISK, it's a very fast and easy way to kind of look at all my characters with um, with ease and see maybe who has ISK or who needs ISK or like even my PI alts. My PI alts will hold uh, usually around 50 to 100 million um, just to cover like uh, POCO taxes and stuff. So by having this field in here, I can kind of, you know, refresh it and see who needs to be like plussed up. Or if there's any like guys who don't need ISK on them, I can consolidate that down to the corp wallet or whatever. Now this um, this is just going to be the reference. Like this character card is what allows all these other fields to kind of work. They're all going to be referencing back. This implant uh, row or cell here is basically just a count for implants. You can click on here and you can kind of expand this a little bit to see exactly what they have um, installed. Um, I don't break it out you know, individually, but this allows me to really quickly see, okay, this character has six implants on them. Um, and then this is a total of number of skill points. And then this number up here is going to be the total sum of every uh, character's skill points, which is nice to know sometimes, but you can delete this if you don't need it. This training header, this will show what they're actively training. It'll show active. If it shows pause, it means their queue is paused, or if there's nothing in their queue, it'll show nothing. This is very valuable if you're dealing with a lot of like alphas or even if you're dealing with tunes that you don't have um, completely queued up. You can come in here, you know, and look and see if anybody's paused or if anybody um, needs their uh, training queue kind of uh, refilled. And this will show location. This will show the corp they're in and then the ship they're in. And then these are two skill trackers here. So this is tracking uh, biology and cybernetics. Those are usually the first two skills that I have all my tunes get to five. But you can actually change this uh, skill tracker to whatever you want. So if we change the, the header by, uh, from biology to, like, say, mining, it'll start tracking mining um, across, you know, all these tunes. You could change either one of these tracks to, and you can kind of duplicate this if you wanted to. 
um, to track any number of uh, skills you want across them, like CPU management or whatever. And then the other field that you need, um, the, there's only a few fields in here that you need to like change, which I guess this would be uh, one of them right here. We'll change these backgrounds. Any background that has the not straight black is going to be something you can change. This is your Omega Expired. There's no endpoint for ESI for this. So this is something we have to actually add manually. So we're going to go to this character here. We're going to look at the expiry here, which is 419 of 26. Um, and I usually do an audit uh, every once in a while. So 419, 2026, you'll just throw that in there. And this will show that it has 356 days remaining. Now, this is going to actually update every time you open up the uh, spreadsheet. So this is actually going to be the expiry date minus today's date, um, which is really cool. So, you know, every so often I'll come in here and uh, kind of audit them or as needed. And you can also then end up sorting all of your characters based on, you know, uh, who has the most uh, days left or who has the least. So it can give you a good snapshot of kind of who might need to uh, get some more Omega time. All right, we're going to add a few more characters in here. Let's go ahead and add another one. Um, we'll go with this guy right here and we'll put a character card in. And we'll just kind of keep going down the list here. We can go hit all these guys are sitting in Jita right now. So they're they're they get to be part of this science experiment to show you guys how this work. And this is as simple as it is. Once you get everybody like off into there, this is as simple as just adding everybody in. Just make sure I don't double add anybody. We'll uh, just add quite a few so you can kind of see what's going on here. And then as you kind of populate them, you can just kind of like, you know, resize the cells and stuff. But as you can see here, we have, you know, X balances that are populating. It's, a lot of these guys don't have implants, but then it shall populate their skill points and kind of what they're uh, currently doing right now, where they're at, and uh, all that good stuff. And then I would have to come in here after adding all of them and just, you know, add all their respective uh, Omega uh, dates and everything. So, like right here, we can go here and um, uh, sort this um, isk. Uh, but that's why you probably want to remove all these. If you're not going to use any of these other rows here, you probably want to remove them. But a lot of this filter stuff is kind of, you know, weird because we have all this stuff out here. So, let's go ahead and remove all this. There we go. Let's just say you have, you know, seven tunes. And so, you have this um, field right here that goes one to eight. That would be kind of like your launcher um, order. And then you can go in here now and see smallest to largest, largest to smallest. So we'll go and sort whoever has the most skill points. And also, you know, you can see who has the skills at five or even sort who has the most uh, Omega dates and things like that. Pretty interesting. And also down there we have a total. This is the total number of uh, Omega days remaining for everybody. This is the total number of skill points for everybody, and the total number of ISK that's in their wallets for everybody, which is pretty cool. Now, real quick, just kind of like, you know, finish off this video. I will go over kind of like how all these, uh, how all these actually um, pull from ESI and kind of how it all works. So this, uh, we'll start over here at the uh, icon. This icon is basically going, you might not be able to see it too well at the very top, um, but uh this uh, icon is going to reference the character card and it's going to use a dot image on top of that to populate that. And then same with implants, it's going to use the EVE Online dot character underscore implants and it's going to reference the character card as well. And then the skill points will use a, uh, we're using a sum actually. We're First we're calling EVE Online dot character underscore skills and we're referencing the character card. And they're using a dot skill points in skills, but then we're taking all those because it's going to spit out a long list of uh, skills. And then we're actually going to, you know, total those all up to give us a total amount. Otherwise, it gives you a huge list of everything. So that's a really clean way of doing it. And then this is a using Eve Online dot character underscore skill underscore Q. And it's going to reference this file. This is also going to give you the entire list of the entire Q, right? of their skill queue but i'm only taking the top one and because i want to see what they're actively training and if they're not actively training anything then that would be empty anyway so to do that we're throwing an index in the front of it and we're going to index one of one and then we're, these if errors are basically if there's an error in this then it returns a blank you know for instance if there's no character card 
there. All right, then the location is using a emailline.solar system is referencing the character card as well, and then it's using a dot location solar system ID um, off of the uh, off of the character card to get the location of the tune, and then the corporation is referencing the character card as well and using dot corporation to get whatever corporation they're in, and then the ship is using emailline.type, and then that type uh, function takes in the character card dot ship type id and that'll just return whatever ship type they're into and then these skill ones are pretty simple too um even line dot character skills and that takes in the character card and then also it's going to take in the uh string which is the name of the skill and then true means that we're going to be strict we're going to use a strict uh, search for that um so it has to be match exactly for this and then we're using a dot active skill um level and then this is using an if error. So if they if it returns an error, then we're just gonna you know type we're gonna have the cell say not known. There's also conditional formatting in here. So if it's below five, then it colors it red. So in most cases, I use these two fields to do uh, stuff that every tune needs to like work on, like biology and cybernetics, because those are important for like skill point farming, right? Because like you know cybernetics, so you can get the improves on, and the biology, so you can get the most out of like a um, a uh, cerebral accelerator or whatever omega is nothing special it's just a raw date in here and then the day is just using a uh, max function and that takes in the uh, omega date minus the today function um, and then if that's an error then we just return zero pretty simple but it's not really an esi tutorial but this is more like you know this uh, spreadsheet kind of exists um, and works um, and all you have to do is just you know add that character card after you auth and add your uh, omegas I'll probably end up doing more ESI tutorials in the future and we'll kind of start with the basics and the idea would be like you'd be able to build something like this or something um, that meets you more of your uh, your spec um, something I'm kind of working out and everything but uh, yeah this is on my patreon uh, for free access you can go in there and download it Get all your characters in here and start tracking it. Um, it's a big quality of life. It's been really great for me to kind of track everybody outside of game. Because before, if I wanted to check, like, if they had ISK on them, I had to kind of load up all the clients and kind of look and, like, also kind of, you know, look and see if they had skills training. But this allows me to just do all that outside of game. Now, if you want to just, uh, if you want to refresh all of this, uh, all you have to do is hit, hold down Control, Alt, and then hit F9. And that will refresh all the SI calls and everything. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.